welcome to Katie's Kingdom. I've decided to do a packing series of videos for you um, because those are some of my most favorite videos to watch on YouTube. I believe that's actually how I started getting into watching YouTube years ago was wanting to get some tips on packing for our various vacations, uh, especially our vacations mostly to Disney World and the theme parks. And I think I ended up on YouTube originally finding videos uh, to help me pack my things and to get tips on what to pack. So I decided to do some of my own. I'm going to be doing a few different videos starting with this one which will be my main bag sort of what's in my suitcase for myself and also for my three-year-old son Jackson. This particular trip we're going on is a two-part trip. The first four nights we are going to Arizona to a conference for Justin, my husband's uh, work. He has a, a professional conference that he's attending in Sedona, Arizona at the Phoenician Resort. And Jackson is still little, he's only three years old. If we have the opportunity to travel with Justin while he goes on these fun conferences throughout the country, we are taking it now because we know in a few years when he's in school, I won't be able to travel like this and we won't be able to take him out of school. So um, any chance we get these past couple years we've been taking and we're really excited to go to Arizona because I have never been there before. Then the second half of the trip since we were flying across the country, we live in New York and since we we're flying across the country with our three year old, we wanted to um, make it sort of worth our while for that long trek. So we decided to book three nights in Disneyland and it's almost technically four entire days because we're taking the red eye on that fourth night staying at the Disneyland Resort and I'm so excited about that. So since this is a two part trip, I have both things for hanging out at the resort, going to the pool a lot, uh, possibly going to a professional dinner, a formal dinner, and also my Disney things. So it was a, it was a lot of different moving parts to pack for this trip, but I'm gonna jump right into it and show you what I have in our suitcases. So the most difficult parts of this packing process have already been done. I've already spent several hours and a couple of days worth of time putting all my stuff aside, packing everything in organized little pieces that make sense to me, and then I've just laid it all out on the bed so I make sure I'm not forgetting anything, and then I can uh, pack it all into my suitcase in an organized way. This half of the bed is mostly my personal items, and that half of the bed, of the bed is basically Jackson's items with a little bit of overlap in between, but I'll show you what's inside all of my different things that I have here, starting with my dresses. These are the things that I'm going to be wearing at the resort in Arizona for the most part. I packed six dresses even though I'm only there for four nights because I'm not exactly sure what I'll be doing. We've never been to this resort before and I know it is a fairly upscale fancy resort so I wanted to just be prepared with a few different kinds of options. Um, starting with this beautiful free people dress. It's like a wrap dress that I just got specifically for the trip. And I thought this would be good for either a uh, dinner, just Jackson and I, or if I get a chance to um, go out with Justin, if there's some sort of childcare, I'm not sure if there will be. There probably won't be, but I wanted to be prepared. So I have this beautiful free people wrap dress that I got specifically for the trip. Then I have this cute little dress. It's just a short, kind of casual, off the shoulder, linen type of dress that I got at TJ Maxx recently. And that would be good for it. daytime, for lunch, for basically a casual dinner, as well as this one would be good for a variety of reasons. This is like a long, sort of, um, it's not really a dress, it's like a jumper with like a long, tail on it. It's kind of interesting, but that is sort of a, a day or night thing. This is more of a, it's the same thing. It's a, it's a jumper with shorts. It actually looks kind of weird on camera, but it's really cute um, and kind of interesting and flowy. And that one would be more for a nighttime. Uh, this would also be probably for a nighttime. This is kind of a asymmetrical hem long short kind of dress that goes off the shoulder 
and we are also going to be doing a few um, couple of nice dinners in California at Disneyland we're going to the Steakhouse 55 one night so I thought one of these dresses could also double for that and then here's another really casual option just a kind of another linen-y sort of thing and anyway I put these all on these nice little travel hangers that are pretty light and don't take up much space because they're flat then I wrap everything up in a garment bag and I fold it in thirds and I put it in the very top of my suitcase so then as soon as they get to the resort, wherever I'm going, either place, I can just take this out and hang it up right away. This is already a little wrinkled so it'll have to be touched up but that's okay. The next thing I pack, uh, which usually takes a long time and I do this several days in advance because a lot of times I need to buy things to um, you know supplement but these are my toiletries I will go into more detail um, with this if anybody would like I think I'm gonna film a separate video with my toiletry what's in my toiletry bags because I have this down to a science I um, like to be comfortable uh, as you can see I am not a light packer I like to kind of plan for any occasion I like to be overly prepared and it shows in my packing, but I try and be organized so that I can fit everything that I want to be comfortable and prepared. This in here is um, hair supplies, like my dry shampoo, um, bobby pins, anything I need for my hair, my leave-in treatment for after I wash my hair, all that kind of stuff. This is my hair tools bag. And I've also had, I've had these bags for a long, long time, but they're all from Vera Bradley, and you can still get all these different styles of bag uh, from Vera Bradley, just in a different print. This is an old print that I got years and years ago, and I use them every time I travel. This is a um, my bag with all my hair tools. This is just a little lavender uh, scented sachet that I stick in the suitcase just to kind of keep everything smelling really nice in the suitcase. It's very unnecessary, but I've had it for years and I use it on every trip. It's kind of a ritual. This is my laundry bag. I travel with this every single time. Justin also has his own and it just folds up really small mini mouse laundry bag. I've used it a million times. Love that. Here is my jewelry case. I didn't take a lot of jewelry, um, but just some things. I really like this. This is from Pottery Barn a couple of years ago and it was actually at the store with a K on it already on a very deep discount so I grabbed that. It had been returned and since it was monogrammed um, they had to sell it very cheaply. This is my makeup bag. This is a Tokidoki Jujube collaboration bag uh, and this is in Donatella's Sweet Shop print. I think it is so cute. As you can see, it's got the things here so I can put my brushes. I just have my eye brushes here and my little spoolie for my eyelashes and my biggest brush that didn't fit in here. And then the rest of my face brushes I put in this travel container. And here's all my makeup that I will need except for the very basics which I keep in my carry-on and I'll show you that when I do what I, what's in my carry-on bag. I can do even a separate video on what's in my makeup bag with, when I do my toiletries but you know it's all my makeup everything I would need in there. Next I have all my shoes. My mother made me this bag years and years ago because I've always liked to travel over the years devising this system of packing. I really like to travel with specific bags for everything. It keeps everything organized and clean. It keeps my shoes from getting dirty and stuff all over my suitcase. I have four pairs of sandals, flat sandals in here, like a pair of pool flip flops, a pair of really old, very broken in sandals. That would be for Disneyland if I want to wear sandals one day and my feet are hurting. And then two pairs of nicer looking um, leather sandals. This one has my Sperry, new kind of Sperry sneakers that I've just been breaking in. And hopefully those will be comfortable enough to wear in Disneyland. This one has my athletic sneakers in case there is a place to walk or jog at the resort in Arizona. Um, this is a pair of the only pair of heels that I'm bringing and I really probably won't use these. These are Michael Kors, kind of really nice um, high heels. 
but I probably won't use those. The only reason I would use these is if we do have access to a babysitter and I go to one of the uh, conference dinners with Justin, I might wear those with one of my nicer dresses. Then I have, and here are my pajamas and my bathing suits. I've taken, and here I have, I think, two bathing suits and a cover-up. Actually, two bathing suits and two cover-ups for, because we're going to be spending a lot of our time at the pool in Arizona and also try and go in the pool uh, when we're in Disneyland at the resort and then just my pajamas and I always take this really lightweight uh, bathrobe with me because just in case you're in your pajamas and somebody comes either with room service or to service the room or something it's nice to have that to throw on. Next thing I have I'm not sure if I actually need to bring this this is a like flyaway sweater but I've just looked up the uh, weather and it's going to be super hot in Arizona and also pretty hot in California but in California in the evening it might possibly get a little chilly so maybe I will keep it just in case. I have uh, just a couple of regular tank tops in case I want something very casual and then um, my Disneyland tank tops which I did a recent video you should go check it out on the things I purchased recently from Etsy Disney inspired shops including this it's lit tank and it's so cute um, I got this stitch tank top these are all things that I'm going to wear in Disneyland obviously this is a beautiful Blair Lamb design tank that's Moana inspired and it has a little quote from Moana on it which is also in my video you should check it out this is an Eve t-shirt from box lunch that I just got we are going to be there during Pixar fest and I just thought that would be cool to wear I have this original Masketeer t-shirt that I got from the Disney store and I also got one matching for my husband and my son so I brought that. I know I have more options than I have days but that's just how I like to pack. I'm not exactly sure what I want to wear and I like to be overly packed in case I want something that I have at home. Then I have one, two pairs of jean shorts and one pair of jeans just in case I probably won't need the jeans but you know I have gone on vacation and been underprepared with warm clothes and it regretted it. So that's just kind of a just in case scenario type thing. And these all fit very nicely in these Eagle Creek packet cubes that I've had for years and I use them every single trip for all of my family members. We all love them. I could even use more of them. I just can't say enough about Eagle Creek packet cubes. If you are a person that does not use packet cubes, you should consider doing it. You'll be so happy and it will change your packing life. Okay, next I have my Disney Park bag. It's the Minnie Mouse lounge fly bag that I've been using the past few times to Disney and I really really like it. I will do a video probably on my updated what's in my Disney park bag maybe this trip. These are just my um, undergarments. Oops. Okay and here I have one little clutch that I might, may or may not need, but I just wanted to have the option. It's a little Coach Mickey clutch, and I would actually wear this to um, co the conf uh, con conference event if I end up going to one of those with any of those dresses that I brought. This is my Pua bag, my Danielle Nicole Pua bag that I also featured in one of my recent videos in my box lunch haul that I'm going to wear with my whole Moana inspired outfit one day and then in this box I know it's kind of weird to bring this box but I wanted to bring my ears and usually I would pack my ears in a packet cube but since I have this beauty this gorgeous pair of ears I got from Tafiti Treasures on Etsy which is also featured in my Etsy video um, they cannot be crushed in any way, so I wanted to have some air, some space around them, so I just stuck them in this box, and they're going to be happy to travel with me in that paper box, which cardboard box, which is strange, but it works. So that is all the stuff that it will go in my suitcase, basically. And over here is what I am packing for Jackson. So starting over here with a book we read every night before bed and this has several stories in it so I thought that would be good. 
I like to bring things for Jackson that will make him feel comfortable and at home as much as possible. So I have his toiletries, which if I do a what's in my toiletry bag, I'll show you what's in there. This is his diapering thing. He is in the middle of potty training. So it's been a little more complicated to pack for him this trip because I have to bring things for potty training and also for diapering. So we've got swim diapers, we've got pull-ups, we have um, some regular diapers, some nighttime diapers. I've also got the flushable cloths. These are um, disposable like toilet liners, which I will show you if I do a what's in my diaper bag video. I will do a what's in my diaper bag video and show you all of the tricks and tips that I have discovered for packing for a child who is in the midst of potty training. And I also have his potty seat, so that's going to stay with us in the hotel. I also have a travel one that will go to the parks and out with us. Um, I have one sweatshirt for him for Disneyland. These are his clothes for the Disneyland portion. I just split them up the clothes for the Arizona trip and then the clothes from the Disneyland trip. The clothes for the Disneyland trip are very, very, very casual and uh, the clothes for the Arizona trip are his more fancy type clothes. So I have several t-shirts for him, a Donald Duck. I've got this stitch tank like sleeveless shirt. This one says just here for the rides and it has the monorail on it and I got that at the character warehouse in Florida. It was adorable. I also got this at the character warehouse. It's the Haunted Mansion t-shirt and then there's his original Mouseketeer matching t-shirt to mom and his Buzz Lightyear t-shirt and a Lightning McQueen t-shirt. He has also more clothes than he needs but especially for a three-year-old they tend to get really dirty. Um, and we're not gonna really have access and I don't wanna spend time doing laundry when I'm there. And here, I'm actually gonna take out um, something in here because he is not going to need a two long sleeve shirts in Arizona. It's going to be sweaty hot. So I'm gonna take that out. He has um, two pairs, two sets of swim outfits. So we do a swim shirt and swim shorts so he doesn't get burned. He's got his um, water shoes, you know, his like pool shoes. He has one, two, three polo collared shirts and he's got one, two um, sort of nicer looking t-shirts and this is like a super cute like top and bottom outfit that I just thought was really cute and it's it's um kind of a fancy outfit for him to wear to a dinner if then his sandals he's got one two three oh two pairs of nice shorts and one pair of pants just in case his socks and his um pajamas so that's everything that jackson could possibly need to wear on both legs of our trip separated into the two legs of the trip this is my saddle bag i just Recently, last night, I just edited uh, my first packing video ever, which I filmed like a year ago, but it's mostly all the same, and I am going to post that on my channel. You'll probably, it'll probably be already up there, and this is something that I use when we're in the parks, and it goes on the, it goes on the side of the stroller, and this, if you are interested in how I pack my stroller and bags for the Disney parks, you can check out that video that will be up and inside is this is a stroller liner that my mother made for his stroller with cars because we're going to Disneyland and it's cars land there and it, so I wanted to bring that and then just like an extra play pack in case he gets bored but this is stuff that we will use um, at the Disney park so I'll tell you more about that at another time but the saddlebag is an awesome investment highly recommend it this is my pool bag now, if it were just me, I would go to the pool with my Kindle and my sunscreen, and that's it. But Jackson needs and likes to have some extra things to go to the pool with. So, in here, this is a ju another Jujube um, bag. It's in the Queen of the Jungle print, and it's a Super B. It's like a carry-all kind of awesome pool bag. I always use one of these as my pool bags. I have a couple of them, and I really like them. 
And also these are machine washable. Uh, all of Jujubee's stuff is machine washable. I'll try not to make this into a like direct like Jujubee video, but I'm just, I get really excited about it because I'm a big Jujubee fan and I know there's a lot of you out there. Let me know if you're a pink lady. Anyway, this is his, um, you know, puddle jumper, his little, his little, um, I can't think of the name. This is his little flotation device for swimming that he uses in the pool. I also have a water resistant sort of hat for him to wear in the pool. He likes wearing hats because it keeps the sun out of his eyes and he's all of a sudden become very sensitive to the sun. He needs his hat and his sunglasses when he goes outside. I bought this cute little ring for him. I thought that would kind of be fun. We're going to be at the pool like a lot of the day, so I thought it'd be nice to have some different like fun new things for him. This is a um, a waterproof case for my iPhone in case we're in the shade at the pool. If I want to read for a few minutes, uh, I can give him my phone and he can watch a show on my phone and so we don't have to go back to the room to have our rest. I bought I brought I bought that so that um, my phone stays protected and dry in the hands of a three-year-old near a pool. This is my wet bag. And then inside here I have some fun things for him to play with at the pool. That's just a little ball. A couple of little guys that can go in the pool and float. This is one of those balls that can get water in it and like skim across the pool. I'm not sure um, what we'll use, but... I think it'll be nice to have some, he likes to have activities and things to do at the pool. So these are some fun things that we can just play with and work on kind of swimming too. And then this is, this is so cute. I just got this. This is new. He hasn't seen it yet. It's a little um, turtle from Finding Nemo, Squirt, and he, you pull his, you pull his little thing and he um, swims and he also floats. So I thought that would be fun for the pool here. This is a bag with all of our sunscreen needs in it. This is any sort of um, toiletry item that we'll need at the pool, including extra swim diapers. And just in case he needs to, I need to change his diaper um, and don't want to go all the way back up to the room, I brought some disposable changing pads, some wipes, some extra diapers. Um, this is chapstick that has SPF in it. This is a brush, obviously. We've got hand sanitizer gel. We will probably be having lunch at the pool one or two of the days, so it's always nice to have that on hand. I use Sunbum 30, and Jackson uses the Baby Ganix 50. I absolutely swear by the sunscreen. And then, what else do I have in here? This has a nice little slip pocket in here. And the last thing I have in here are my pool sunglasses. These are very nice sunglasses, Chanel sunglasses, but they're from 2012. I've had them for years and years. They've been so good to me, and they've now been kind of demoted to my pool sunglasses only because they are plastic, and um, they've gotten some scratches on them, so I don't mind wearing them at the pool in case they get wet or scratched a little bit. And these are a pair. So cute. I got these at the Disney store for Jackson. So that is all the stuff we need for the pool, and it's already packed up. So when it's time to head to the pool, we just grab the bag, stick our swimsuits on, and go. The only thing I will throw in here when I'm ready to go to the pool is my Kindle, but I'm obviously taking that on the plane, so that's why it's not in there already. And then this bag has all of our snacks. I travel with a lot of snacks. I have a three-year-old, and snacks are life. We have Annie's Cheddar Bunnies and... Bunny Graham crackers. I have these kids protein shakes, which are good in a pinch for breakfast. A lot of times, especially because of the time change, Jackson is probably going to be up at the crack of dawn. And sometimes we don't want to get dressed and go down to breakfast right away. So he can have one of those protein shakes to tie him over. Those are just something that was in my cabinet. We've also got, I'm a big fan of these Annie's things. So we've also got the um, gummy bunnies, all sorts of bunnies in here. I brought a couple of Think Thin protein bars in case I want something like that, and a couple of these Nutrigrain cereal bars. So a lot of this stuff is sort of breakfasty, like a pre-breakfast breakfast. And then the last thing I have in here is um, some almonds, which I always travel with. 
So just so we don't have a car this trip, a lot of times I won't bring as many snacks because we'll have a car and we'll do a drugstore run right when we get somewhere, but we don't have a car this trip, so I wanted to bring more with me than I usually do. And it's all there and ready for us when we get there. And that'll probably be gone by the time we, um, I mean, obviously we will use this all by the time we get home, so it will be lighter in my luggage and leave room for some souvenirs, probably, honestly. Um, then I always travel with my uh, digital scale. I always, always, always make sure that my luggage weighs before going to the airport. And then these are the bags that I'm gonna pack in. Both of these bags are from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I can't remember, and they're both Samsonite. I've only had this one for less than two years, but uh, you know when you buy any bag that is not black, it gets just trashed at the air in the airplane and like going from place to place, so it looks disgusting, but it, it really is a very functional bag and it's very clean inside, so I'm just gonna keep using it until it looks so bad that I just can't anymore. But I will show you how I pack everything in. I just usually use this brown one for myself. And then this they're both the 28 inches, I believe. That's the biggest size suitcase. So that's why I always travel with the scale because these actually can be packed over 50 pounds. So you have to just watch out um, just to keep everything weighing under 50 pounds. And then this is the inside organization in the bag that I have for Jackson. So here is the finished product on the suitcases. Everything is in there that I had on my bed. It all fits very well, I think. And I'm gonna make sure it weighs, but I'm pretty sure it does. And then this is the other suitcase. I was afraid that that one was a bit heavier because of all the toiletries and stuff, so I put the folding clothes just in the top of Jackson's suitcase because everything in there is super light. And there you can kind of see how I did it. But if you have packet cubes and you, you pre-pack everything into their own organized pieces, luggage pieces, it makes this part like super easy. This took me like two minutes. Everything fits really easily in there. And I'm gonna weigh them right now and make sure they weigh. And that's that. Then I am absolutely done. So that's it. That's what I pack in my suitcase for myself and my three-year-old. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this packing series. It's one of my favorite types of videos to watch and I hope that it's beneficial and helpful to some of you and if it is I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear where you're headed and what types of hacks and tricks that you use to best pack and organize for your vacations. So if you are new here please consider subscribing and give this, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in Arizona and Disneyland so be on the lookout for those vlogs as well. Take care, have a great day, bye!